eight nice Teacher, I'm not ready, but I would like to try, teacher. Okay, my dear, so I'm so happy to have you again in this amazing and beautiful class. So as you know, my name is teacher Gabriela Celada. And for today, before to start with your amazing presentation, let me show you, okay. There is a rubric, there is a rubric. So look at my screen. Um, obviously, when you will present or when you will have an oral presentation, I always like to measure my students using a rubric. Nunca los voy a evaluar en presentaciones orales sin tener una rubrica. Esa es mi forma y ese es mi estilo. Um, obviously, at the end of your presentation, at the end of your whole presentation, I will upload your rubrics and you will notice how was your grade, okay? So let me explain you something. For example, Instituto Especializado de Educación Superior Espíritu Santo, Catedrático Lee Gabriela Celada, Estudiante y el Topic. Obviously, you are going to give us your full name you are going to give us to me your full name and you are going to give us your topic. Teacher, my topic is my family. My topic is my hobbies. My topic is my favorite places to visit in El Salvador. Okay, my topic is my daily routine, etc. So please be ready with your topics. Okay, so look, I got one, two, three, mm -hmm. and four points. Okay, so look at the first one that I'm going to make sure, what is make sure? Lo primero que les voy a medir ustedes y I'm going to evaluate is your grammar. But what is grammar, teacher? Grammar is a speaking. A speaking is grammar. Señores, si usted, no solo se trata de aprender a hablar en, en, en inglés en este caso. Regálenme 10 segundos. Okay, I'm so sorry. So, um, teacher, what is grammar? Grammar, guys, is speaking. You cannot speak in English without an excellent, no good, guys, an excellent grammar. Nadie a mí me puede decir, yo hablo bien inglés. Cuando una persona habla bien inglés porque tiene una buena gramática. Ok, teacher, nosotros en este caso vamos comenzando y por eso desde ahorita yo les voy a meter presión, ok, porque la gramática is just a part of speaking, ok, and speaking is grammar. In the future, you are going to take your TOEFL test. In grammar, it is one of the skills, well, it's not a skill, in the grammar is one of the details that they are going to evaluate to all of you. So, I'm going to evaluate grammar in speaking. It's, uh, it's not necessary uh, to have a test. In this case, I'm going to evaluate your grammar by your speaking. Look at the second, okay, in grammar, it's 2.5%. Look at fluently. A speech flows smoothly. What is smoothly, guys? When you, um, okay, if you want to read, do it, guys, if you want. If you want, this is your first oral presentation, so it is allowed. But if you want to read, okay, do it. But please, guys, according to my experience, I have been teaching English for almost 10 years. So according to my experience, please, guys, don't read, okay? Don't read. Teacher, I got some notes. I got some notes in order to support my ideas. Okay, nice. If you got, if you got notes to support your ideas, perfect. Excellent, but please, guys, this is an oral presentation. I'm not demanding to all of you to read, please. I'm not demanding to all of you to read, please. Okay, if you want, you can take like a note in order to support your ideas. What is fluently? Fluently is when a person is speak in a very, in a very, excuse me, clearly way. Okay, so. This is fluently and it got three points or three percent. Subject knowledge. What is subject knowledge? Subject knowledge is how much information do you or how much information can you handle? 
Okay, so teacher, my topic is my favorite color. Okay, good. If your topic is your favorite color, okay, do it. But how many colors do you know in English? Could you please explain to us what represents the color red for you in your life? Okay. For example, teacher, in my case, I uh, the, co the, the red color represents love, for example, or represent blue, for example. In my case, the color green represents natural, for example. Okay, this is subject knowledge when you can handle a very, very deep information about it. Visual aids. Okay, remember, I was to asking to all of you to have your diapositivas, right? In my case, I use PowerPoint because I'm an old school, but if you want, you can use any kind, any kind of visual aids. Teacher, I feel comfortable using Geniality. Teacher, I feel comfortable using Canva. Teacher, I feel comfortable using Power. Okay, do it. Yes, the way that you feel comfortable, do it, please. Okay, but visual aids, please, guys. In my personal, as an English teacher, for me, it's not necessary to have more than five PowerPoint presentation. Y otra cosa que les voy a enseñar también, pero ahí vamos a ir evaluando. Pero en mi caso, yo no necesito tener 10 diapositivas, mucho menos 15, mucho, muchísimo menos 20. O sea, yo con cuatro diapositivas bien hechas, suficiente para mí. It is enough for me. And obviously, okay, visual aids. And please, guys, remember, uh, for normal classes, as you know, it's not necessary to have your cameras open, okay? It's not necessary, but please, for oral presentation, is a must. Okay, escuchen el modo al ver que ocupé. It's a must. No estoy diciendo you can. No estoy diciendo you should. No estoy diciendo okay. So, it's a must. What is must? O lo, o sí, o sí. Teacher. I'm so sorry, but my camera doesn't work. I'm so sorry. Okay, one less point. Because we got virtual classes. We don't have the opportunity to meet now in a presential, but I need to see you. I need to see you. So please, guys, when you are going to present, remember your cameras must be open. It. Okay, my dears. Any question about it? Five, four, three. Two and one. Okay, I will before to start, I would like to show you something. I would like to show you something. Look at voy a decir las personas que tengo en mis cuadros de notas y quiero por favor que si alguien falta me lo haga saber. Alejandra Portillo, Alison Rivera, Ana Cristina Carpio, Damaris Alessandra, Flor Noemi González, Joana Michelle Cetino, José Ángel Hernández, José Gerardo Vázquez, José Israel Morán, Juan José Chávez. Catherine Georgina Reyes, Leslie Andrea Castillo, María José Valladares, Reina Guadalupe Palacios, Rodrigo Alexander Mengíbar y Rosa Alejandra Olaizola Badillo. ¿Alguien que me falte, por favor? Uh, yo, licenciada. Ok, excelente. Diego, regálame tu nombre completo, por favor. Diego José Domínguez Morán. Domínguez. Domínguez Porceta Morán. Morán. Morán o Morales. Morán. Morán. Ok, caballero. Después lo voy a poner ahí en orden. No lo vamos a hacer ahorita porque me gusta hacer las cosas en orden de un solo. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver si me da. Ok, no me lo cambió. Alguien más que esté pendiente, señores, por favor, me deja saber. Ahí estamos ya. Ok. Ok, Diego José, mi lista eres el número 5. Señoras, alguien que esté pendiente. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Ok, my dear is, I like to work in order. I love to work in order. So, I'm going to start. So, teacher, hey, voy a explicar algo y lo voy a decir en español. Por ahí alguien en la mañana me dijo lo siguiente. No voy a decir quién. Buenos días, licenciada. Mi nombre, etcétera, etcétera. Fíjese que me pasó esto, esto y esto y no tengo internet. Solamente me he quedado con, con WhatsApp. Bye. Obviamente, yo no me voy a poner a, 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 en el plan de, mira, has perdido la nota. Tampoco me voy a poner en el plan de, te voy a ayudar. Señores, ustedes son adultos. 
la vieja escuela a nosotros no nos permitían llegar donde el licenciado y decir, mire, disculpe, fíjese que hoy no voy a poder presentar porque viera que me duele, la, me duele una uña, perdés la nota. Esa era la vieja escuela con la que yo saqué mi carrera. Entonces, en la vieja escuela voy a ocupar con ustedes también. Usted me puede a mí decir, mire, fíjese que me pasó esto, pero el afectado de usted no soy yo. Diferente es cuando usted me dice, licenciada, tuve una emergencia eh, médica, pero fíjese que aquí está mi constancia. Ah, no te preocupes. Con constancia en mano, no te preocupes, puedes presentar otro día. Pero que usted me venga a decir de boca nada más que fíjese que a mí me pasó esto y cómo voy a saber yo si es verdad o es mentira. Entonces, eh, tengamos mucho cuidado con eso. Hagamos el esfuerzo, por favor. Hagamos el esfuerzo, por favor. Preferible es que usted me diga, mire, licenciada, tengo una emergencia. Me permite pasar primero a exponer. Y, 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 y fíjese que me pasó eso. Lo importante es que usted siempre salve la nota. Pero que usted me diga, fíjese que no pude, porque cuando usted se enfrenta a la vida real, usted no le va a poder decir a su jefe, fíjese que hoy no voy a poder venir porque me pasó esto. Pues que chiva tu vida, ¿verdad? Entonces, señores, desde ya les digo eso. ¿Ok? Con constancia médica, no hay problema. Fíjese, mira, aquí está, no te preocupes, no te preocupes. Mira, que tengo gente que hasta los han operado. Y me han dicho, mire, licencia, no te preocupes. Tienes una operación, te voy a duplicar la nota. Pero cuando usted me dice, es que fíjate que me duele la uña, ok, que te siga doliendo y nos vemos en la, la siguiente clase, pero perdés tu nota. Así que, señores, desde ya, quiero que yo los voy a tratar como me educaron a mí con la vieja escuela. Así que, igual, la comunicación ante todo. Licenciada, mire, me pasó esto. Yo sé que usted pide constancia, pero fíjese que me pasó esto. La comunicación ante el todo, no estoy diciendo que estoy tan cerrada, me doy, me doy a entender, pero señores, las excusas conmigo de que no tengo internet no valen, las excusas conmigo de que mira, se me acaba, no valen, señores, un dólar creo que vale un paquete, Zoom lo aguanta, entonces, señores, this is your responsibility, it's not my responsibility, ok, and I'm going to try to teach you according to the old school, according to the old school, ok, so, Okay, the first one that I got is Alejandra Portillo eh, Linares. So, hello, Alejandra. Are you ready to present? Hello, teacher. Yes. Perfect. Okay, yeah, my dears. Okay, so give us some seconds to your teacher, please. Okay. Okay, Alejandra Portillo. What's your topic, Ale? Uh, about my family. Okay, my my family okay would you like to present yes okay now you got the option okay my dears the stage is yours and then the second is alejandra or alejandra portillo linares is the first one let me check it out let me check it out okay let me check wait, wait a minute please my lady oh i like it perfect nice Okay, wait, wait some seconds, please. Wait some seconds, please, my dears. Alison Noelia. Alison, you are the... Alison Noelia Rivera. Okay, okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, Alejandra, please. Please, the stage is yours. Okay, good morning, teacher. And I'm talking about my family. Uh, Ale, remember when you got oral presentation, it's a must to have your cameras open. Ah, yes. Okay, Sorry. Thank, no worry, my princess. Thank you. Sorry. Nice. Uh, I am talking about my family. Uh, the first one I... About my parents and uh, my... My mother's name is Ines. She is 48 years old. She is a business administrator. And, but now it's, uh, she is a housewife. Um, she is cheerful and friendly. And she likes cook for our family. And the favorite hobby is watch series or movies with my sister and I. About my my father, my father's name is Nelson. He is 45 years old. He's a designer. He's a generous and funny 
and he loves Chinese food and seafood. The second one is my siblings. And my brother's name is Nelson. He's 21 years old. He's a study mechatronic engineer and works at Holstein as industrial programmer. And he likes to go out on weekends with his family and his favorite hobby is listening to music. And my sister's name is Daniela. She's 18 years old. She's study architecture and her hobby is watch series. And her favorite food is Mexican food. And she really loves uh, tacos de birria. And wow. then <laughs> she's a uh, friendly and, and sensitive. And this is my husband. Uh, his name is Edwin. He's 29 years old. He works at Old Terror. His favorite hobby is play video games and sleep. <laughs> and he likes cook with me. We really love eat tacos. And the last one is my son. Oh. His name is Matthew. Uh, he's three years old. He's funny, playful, and imperative. He loves play in the park with his cousin. And his favorite food is pupusas and pizza. And that's all, teacher. Okay, my dearest. Excellent. Just my goodness, Alejandra. Good job. Hey, number one, Alejandra, I like your fluency. I like your temper. I mean, because on all your all presentation, you were very relaxing. Are you nervous? Because you don't look nervous. Yes, a little bit. <laughs> okay, no, but good job. Excellent. Hey, it is a blessing you, because your husband works in a call center. Yes. In an English account? No worries about the noise. No te preocupes por el, por el ruido, hija. No te preocupes. Mira, yo tengo una alumna que, de, que la vecina tiene un gallo y toda la, todas las clases mías canta el gallo. Entonces, ya no te preocupes. So, hey, uh, does your husband work in a concert, right? Yes. You practice uh, with uh, concentric. Yes. Concentric. Wow. Do you practice English with him? Yes. Okay, nice. Okay, just one detail. I'm talking about your son. So cute, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, okay. Just mention something like that. Look at the look at the chat, guys. Look at the chats. Look at the chat. Excuse me, Alejandra. Would you like to help to read the the sentence, please? He likes to play. Okay, a detail. You said he likes play. He likes play. Okay. okay grammar detail. He likes to play. He likes to play. And. I would like to congrats because you respect the third person. Because when you introduce your parents, you said, okay, her name is, his name is good. Excellent. Y esos son los detalles que estoy tomando, que usted a este punto sepa manejar las terceras personas. Que no me diga she's name is. Que no me diga she likes. No, she likes. Okay. Good job. Excellent, Alejandra. Really nice. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Thank you so much. A pleasure. Teacher, ¿y cómo voy a saber qué nota tengo? En la tarde le voy a subir las rúbricas y usted va a saber ahí la nota que usted tiene. Okay, so let me see. The second on my list is... The second on my list is Alison Noelia Rivera Barahona. Alison, are you there? Five, four, three... Two, thank you so much. Okay, the third one is Ana Cristina Carpio. Are you there, Cristi? Five, four, three, two, and one. Thank you, my dearest. Excellent number. Si comenzamos así, rapidito nos vamos a graduar. Yes, my dearest. Yes, Dieguito. I'm so sorry. Ay, oh. perdón, te dije Dieguito. Perdón, perdón. I'm so sorry. 
Es no problem. Es una costumbre que tengo de, de decir los nombres en chiquito, perdón. Ok, please, okay. tell me. Uh, Cristina está en la clase de didáctica resolviendo un problema con el profesor. Mm, yes, but his, her responsibility is to be in class, in my class. Yeah, yeah, no, actually. Yes, and my, and my partner must to respect my time too. Okay, but thanks for letting me know, Diego. Thanks for letting me know, okay? Nice. Okay, so then Damaris Alessandra. Hello, Damaris. Good morning. Let me see if Damaris is Damaris. Okay, Damaris is not in my... Hey, what happened with you? My goodness. Diego Dominguez. Hey, Diego, you're, you're new, right? Teacher. Yes, please. Damaris, right in the chat. So, okay, Damaris. Okay, no worries. I will let, I will let to participate at the end. Okay, try to fix it up. Try to fix it up. Okay, thank you. So, Diego, you're okay. I know you're my, uh, a new student, but are you ready to present? Teacher, I found that it was a uh, introduce yourself, but I don't mm -hmm. have a presentation or something like that. Okay, let's try. Let's try. Just open your camera. Okay, let's try. Let's try. Let check. The the detail is visual aids is two points. Solamente la visualización vale dos puntos. So, but there is another option if you want to try, Diego, because I know you're new. Would you like to present at the end? Would you like to be the last one in order to be ready? I don't need too much the. I don't need too much. I don't need too many diapositivas. Just one or two diapositivas. Would you like to present uh, okay. at the end? If you, if you give me a chance, I'm going to Yes, of, yes of course, but at the end, but today. <laughs> yeah, today. Okay, perfect. Okay, okay be you. ready. I will, I will let you to participate at the end. Okay, be ready. Two or three diapositivas. Okay. Flor Noemi González. Yes, teacher. Florcita. Just a moment, please. Perfect. Yes, of course. So, Florcita, good morning. Are you ready? Obviously, teacher. Aye. I... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see, let's see. Wait a minute. Okay. Vamos a ver. Miren, esa maña de hablarle a los alumnos en chiquito. Eh, eh, ahí me van a disculpar. Siempre, siempre les hablo en chiquito. Y me quiero... see me? Espera. Wait, 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 wait. Espérame. Flor Noemí. Flor Noemí González Girón. No, eh, Flor, what's your topic? My topic is my best friend. My best friends. Perfect. Okay, now let's see. Yes, yes, perfect. Mm -hmm. My best friends. Okay, okay. so Good morning, Florcita, I'm looking, I'm looking for you. What yes, your camera is open, but ah yes, perfect. Excellent. Thank you, Florcita. Nice mm -hmm. to meet you. Excellent. Beautiful hair. I love it. Okay, Thank please, you. Florcita, go ahead. Uh, good morning um, uh, this beautiful morning like teacher always say I'm gonna talk about one of the most special and important person in my life and she's my best friend uh, she is my uh, her name is Catherine uh, she is older than me by one year. Uh, she's a kind and funny person. Uh, at least when he's with me, when she's with me, sorry, because other people say she's a serious person, but I don't think so. Um, she's studying for to be a doctor and also. She works in a dental clinic. Uh, her hobby, or oh, her favorite hobby, is quite serious. And dance, she loves dance. Um, uh, I met her 12 years ago when we were just a little years. And from that moment until today, um we have been very united and also 
we have been spent many moments together sometimes goals buzz sad and happy but always together uh, we have many anecdotes together some of those are embarrassing but funny and <laughs> i like too much uh, have spent oh sorry i have i like spend time with her and I think uh, when I when I'm with her uh, I'm very happy that the normal and that's all <laughs> okay my dears really nice look at the chat please Look at the, the chat. Okay. okay, look at number one. This is grammar details. This is grammar details. Ella es, mm. ella es seria. ¿Cómo lo diríamos en inglés? Serious. Ah, oh, sí, serious. Okay. She's very serious. Okay, muy bien. Mm. A ella, ella ama bailar. Detallito. En la tercera persona, muy bien. She la tercera persona. Ahí estamos bien, lo dijiste súper bien, she loves, pero no se okay. dice she loves dance, necesito el she loves to dance. Voy a explicar algo rapidito okay. y quiero que me pongan atención todos, por favor. Teacher, ¿cuándo decimos to play, to cook, to dance, to study? ¿Se han fijado que algunos verbos se manejan con, el, la, con, 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 con la palabra to, to dance, to play, to cook? Mm -hmm. O sea, teacher, ¿cómo voy a saber cuándo utilizar el to? Es bien fácil. Cuando, o escuche bien, esto es TOEFL, señores. Cuando usted va a hablar de una acción, pero que es una acción que no se está haciendo en el momento, que es una acción que no se hizo ayer, es una acción que no se está haciendo mañana, etcétera, etcétera, necesito agregarle esa preposición, porque el tú es una preposición. Entonces, yo, si yo digo, a ella le encanta bailar, pero Florcita no está diciendo que a su amiga le encanta bailar ahorita, Florcita no está diciendo que a su amiga le encantó bailar ayer. Florcita no está diciendo que a su amiga está, estará bailando mañana. Entonces, ahí sí, a ella le encanta cocinar. She loves to cook. A ella le encanta jugar videojuegos. She loves to play video. Porque estamos hablando en un tiempo, es cierto, pero el verbo dance es una acción. Sí, señores, pero el hecho que sea una acción no significa que la acción se está haciendo en un momento, ¿verdad? Como en el caso de la amiga de ella. A ella le encanta en general, en general bailar. Cuando usted una acción está hablando en general, ne necesito que me le agregue la preposición to. Y, teacher, a pesar que lleva la preposición to, ¿siempre voy a, va a llevar el verbo en ese? Sí, es que el verbo lo siempre lleva en, en ese, pero cuando es tercera persona. Yo puedo decir Patricia, y el verbo siempre lleva ese. Patricia loves. Patricia loves to dance. Flor loves to dance. Entonces, el to, ¿y cómo se le llama a esa oración? A, 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 ese, a ese tiempo verbal, señores, cuando yo digo to play, to cook, to dance, ¿cómo se le llama eso, señores? Pregunten. They are, they are infinities. Exactly, infinities. And we have gerunds. And we have, ah, but gerunds is another, is another topic. But pregúnteme, teacher, ¿y por qué? Y, por, ¿Y cómo se llama? Pregúnteme, no solo se quede. No, hombre, pregunte si para, para eso me pagan para yo enseñarle a usted. Entonces, eso se llama infinitivo. Cuando una acción no es que se está haciendo ahorita, pero yo tengo un verbo. Yo tengo un verbo, pero solo porque tiene un verbo. ¿Cuál es el error que me cometen los alumnos? She loves to dancing también. No, ¿y por qué? Y porque es que no está bailando ahorita. Entonces, me doy a entender. Ok, ahora bien, no los quiero dormir. Vamos con el siguiente, Florcita. Señores, cada vez que usted presente, yo siempre hago esto, las pausas, porque eso usted le va a ayudar a ser mejor cada día. Dice, we have been very, ok, como digo, nosotros hemos, nosotras hemos sido muy cercanas. Lo que tú dijiste, Florcita. And we have been very close. Ah, pero no dijiste close, dijiste. No, dije United. Exacto, United, United Airlines es una, es una compañía de avión, ¿verdad? Entonces, United, United cuando States. United States también es un país, muy bien, pero el United es cuando también algo es único, pero en este caso, cuando okay. yo soy muy cercana a mi amiga, a mi mamá, a mi hermano, a mi novio, a mi esposo, a mi esposa, se utiliza la palabra close, teacher, pero okay. close que no es cerrar. 
sí, también. Ok, close the door, pero en este caso es una expression. Aquí la palabra se usa como, se, se usa, perdón, como una expresión. Hemos sido muy unidas. We have been very close. Ok, y quiero ver, no, yo creo que solamente esas dos eran. Excelente, Florcita, thank you. Un placer conocerte. Thank you. Ok, my dears. Regálenme unos segundos en lo que lleno la, termino de llenar la rúbrica de Florcita, por favor. Ok, vamos a ver. Ahí estamos. Ok, so the next one is, the next one is, Angel Hernández Rivas. Good morning, Jose. Angel, are you ready? Yes, I am. Good morning. Perfect. Good morning, my dearest. Could you please give us... Today? I'm fine. I'm having a cup of coffee <laughs> with milk. Good. With okay. milk. Yeah, I don't like American coffee. No, I don't like American coffee. Angel, what's your topic, please? Uh, my topic is uh, traveling to United States illegally. Wow, oh my goodness, traveling to USA illegally. Oh my goodness. Okay, so Angel, the stage is yours. Okay, let me um, share my screen. Let's see, let me know if you see the screen right there. It's, yes, perfect, yes. Okay. My, my last name is Celada. Uh, the previous. Okay, good good okay. to know, I'm sorry, I didn't. Okay, I didn't know. nice. Okay, so uh, today I'm going to tell you about the this adventure that I took in um, um, 2007. It was a long time ago. And I remember when I took the bus uh, by the uh, terminal of San Salvador and, uh, and the way to, to Guatemala. When I get there, um, I realized that no people, no culture, uh, I know the Guatemala is, is close to El Salvador, but it is the new culture, new food. Uh, the tortillas are very uh, thin, very skinny, and the, the, the beans and rice, all, all the kind of foods are, are kind of different. And the new people, and and I start to feel a uh, little sad because I start to miss my family, uh, but you know, I, I, I was sure that I take the, the uh, adventure because I, uh, uh, I had to um, I, ha I had dreams, you know, I had dreams to, to have a good life and working in a good place and make some money and, and help my family. So um, when I was in Guatemala, uh, that's, what, that's why my uh, was my feeling and crossing to Mexico um, it was a little hard because I um, we start to walk and with two 200 people uh, there are a lot of risks you take because um, you don't know the, the, the places uh, and you walk uh, at night in the morning so you don't have time to, uh, time to, to rest up uh, to take a nap. So you have to be uh, awake always. And I think the worst part that I, it, the worst part was when I when I um, was in a in a trailer because you know that is very uh, dangerous for for the people because uh, the oxygen is uh, is not there. So we have a big fan inside and. Uh, a little water, a bottle of water, and it took, the, this trip took uh, around 12 hours to get to uh, DF, uh, or the capital of Mexican capital. And after that, uh, we went to the Arizona desert, and this is terrible because it's very hot, and the animals, you can see the snake around you, the spiders, and there is a lot of spike too, and there's no place to to be comfortable. Wow. And and beside that, uh, you you don't know. So the future or the way do you want to take is very uh, unsure, uh, uncertain, and you don't know uh, if it's someone um, at the end of the way waiting for you to 
change your life or to change the things you have or to route your water, to take your clothes or whatever. And that's very hard because I, I, I remember that I saw uh, some um, uh, bones, bones uh, uh, in, in the dessert behind or uh, uh, under the small uh, trees uh, by the river. And it's very, very, very hard to see that. And, but when I get to Arizona, Arizona is, is, a, is a state of the United States, but it's, a, it's a, by the border. And this is very hot state, um, but the house is, uh, they, they have um, AC and they have a, a carpet and, and I feel very happy because I, I, I cross the border and I, and I take the, and I look at uh, other people, another environment, and I call my, my, my family and they were very happy. And, and after that, uh, I meet my family. That's, a, that's the, one of the best part of the adventure because I meet my family, you know, we took a picture, uh, we're laughing, we enjoy the time. But after that, besides that, uh, United States is a, is a country that you have to work. You have to work very hard. You yeah. must have to work. Mm -hmm. and, and there is a common phrase that is, thank God it's Friday, because um, you feel tired at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Because you have to work uh, 40 hours. Legally, you have to work uh, 40 hours per week. But illegally, you, you can work uh, any time. I mean, the, the, the hours as much you can, because you, you might have to pay the bills, pay, mm -hmm. uh, pay the, the, your family, because they, they spend the money to, to bring to the another country Mm -hmm. and then to find another um, apartment to rent for you and to find a work, to find a, a new cell phone. It was very, very uh, crazy because uh, this is another culture. You have to speak English, you, has, you must have to speak English because you, you have to answer for, uh, for food, for clothes, for anything. And I know I have my, my brother. My brother is they speak English, uh, but uh, the problem is that I ha always uh, I took my brother to the store to hear he speaks for me. Uh, he's uh, in, in, as a and translator. I, <laughs> so I decide I decide to to go to the school at night uh, to to start studying English. Uh, hour or two hours per day after work. It was very hard, but uh, I did it. And, 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 and that's what I, I, I you know, I, I, I know that I have to improve it, but I had the basic, I think, um, vocabulary. I, I know that I have to improve it, but uh, I, I hope it's going to be good. Yes, of course. So this is my, my story. This is my presentation, teacher. Um, for any indication, I am ready. Perfect, really nice. And I got some details. I got some details. Uh, number one, congrats to you, okay? Because I know where I didn't have this kind of experience, but I heard about it and it is difficult. It is it is really difficult. So my dearest, thanks for sharing your, your story too. Thanks for sharing to us, okay? So look at the chat, Angel, look at the chat. So there are some details about number one, just one detail about pronunciation and just one detail about grammar. ¿Cómo decimos cultura? Well, I say culture. Okay, culture, like a cha, che chi, culture, culture. Okay, and what is the different, okay, not the different, in this case, to find a work. Work is the action, in this case, para encontrar un trabajo, to find a job to find a job, no work, just detail. And the last one, tú debes, es obligación que hables inglés. You must, you must speak. You must speak. Ahora bien, y quiero hacer una aclaración. El verbo must, número uno, es un verbo auxiliar. Número dos, ¿cómo se le llama ese verbo? 
auxiliar, pero Mor también tiene otro nombre. Moral. Es un moral, moral verb. Teacher, y en este caso, ¿por qué no se dice you must to speak? Porque todos los, los modal verbs, como en el caso de must y en el caso de should, no necesito agregar la, la, la preposición to. Se respeta el modal verb porque ya él hace la acción. Entonces, aquí si no se dice you must to, aquí no. Donde es must y donde es should, ahí sí nos vamos de un solo. You must speak, you must, excuse me, you must speak, you must cook, you must learn. So, porque son modal verbs en este caso. Detallito, so. I, I have a personal question, Angel. May I, please? So, are, yes, you, sure. are, you, are you working? Uh, well, I, I just, uh, I've, I've been working, but I stopped working uh, in a uh, college and school okay. as an English teacher. What but about the, call center? Um, the call center, uh, I try, but uh, they say that I, I had to uh, training for uh, four weeks. So uh -huh. I had to uh, train for four weeks and, mm. and because I am studying, I had not the time, but I, I yes. am trying to get a job in a call center actually because uh, the school, I, uh, I stopped to work in there because I had to go presential and mm -hmm. I live two, two hours away from there. Mm -hmm. So I can back and forth at the same time. I can be at the same time in both place. Okay. So, hard to me but I, I, i'm looking for a job actually if you want if you want because i got many connections and uh, if you want to try it again so just please let me know okay just please let me know okay because Thank i got you. yes i got many connections uh, according to my well throwing excuse me throwing my by my english academy okay my dear so we have to stop here so and then please be ready because we are going to continue we are going to continue after the break so please guys be ready because i'm going to start again at 10 1 and the next one and the next one is jose gerardo vasquez hi jose are you ready jose hmm. gerardo Okay, my dear, perfect. Okay, my dear, please be ready because after break, you are going to be the first one. Okay, my dear, please, let's go and have a cup of coffee and some pupusas. Bye, people.